If you want to make a video where you're pushing something off the screen and maybe throwing something else on the screen, there are a couple of ways you can do it. One of the ways is where you can see it slowly moving. And the other way is when you just swipe quickly and it pops off. So I'm going to show you both ways in this tutorial. The first thing to know is that if you want it to move slowly so you can see it travel, that won't work in an app like TikTok or Instagram. But if you just want it to pop off, you can do that right in your social media app. So I'm going to show you that first and then I'll show you the slower, more advanced one second. First, record your video. You can do that in your regular phone camera and upload it or you can record right in your social media app. I'm going to demonstrate everything in CapCut, but the first way that's easier, you can do right in TikTok or Instagram. So I'm going to pick my video, add it to the project. Now I'm going to first edit the video. So because I had a lot of dead space at the beginning. So let me play it. And when I start speaking, if you want to... okay, so right as I start to speak, I'm going to make my cut, tap on the timeline, click split. I'm going to get rid of the beginning. And now I'm going to put some text on the screen that I'm going to push out. So I'm going to type in this word that I don't love. <laughs> Okie doke. Style. I'm going to pick a style. And I'm going to slide it down. The key is to find the space when you're, if your hand is going to push something off, make sure you find, you put it in a spot that makes sense with your hand. So placement is the first important thing. So now I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in on the timeline a little bit so that I can move slowly along. When I get halfway through the action, right about there, that's where I want the text to disappear. So it's going to look like it pushes off. So I slide the slider back and lock it in. And now when you play this, let's make it bigger. If you want to make a video where you're pushing something off the screen. So it looks like it pushes off, even though it's off. just disappearing. You can do the same thing in TikTok and in Instagram by tapping on the text and setting the duration. Just make sure you set the duration to leave when your hand is halfway through the action. Now let's go to the second bit of text where it's going to come on the screen. So I'm going to pick the spot where I want it to come on slowly, slowly, where my hand is just about open like that. And that's a great spot where it's going to look like my hand throws it on. So I tap add text. I'm going to put my other word up and I pick the style, but my style is already chosen, but I pick the style. You can pick from another style here, click the check mark. And again, placement is key. So I want to move this one where my hand is. So it really looks like it comes out of the palm of my hand. Now when I play this, it just seems to, pop right on as my hand opens up. So it's all about timing your text. Let me play this whole thing a little bit bigger so you can see it. If you want to make a video where you're pushing something off the screen and maybe throwing something else on the screen, okay. I'm going to show you some simple editing tricks. That's a nice quick way to do it that doesn't involve a lot of editing. And if you're in TikTok, you can tap on the text and do set duration and you can slide the slider and time it exactly when your hand is halfway through the actions. But if you want to do a video where you're slowly pushing something off the screen or slowly bringing something on the screen, I'm going to show you how to do that and it's a little more advanced. I'm going to start a new project and take my slower recording, add it to the project. Okay, now I'm just going to edit this. Take off a little bit of the beginning when I'm not speaking. But if you want to do a video where you're slowly pushing something off the screen. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is add my text. Tapping style. There it is. Check mark. Sliding it down. Let's get the placement right. Let's see where my hand is. Oh, we're going in this direction. Fun. <laughs> well, I guess I used the other hand. Okay, the placement looks good. Now what I've got to do, I'm going to, again, I'm going to zoom in on the timeline to make this a little more editing friendly. And I'm going to slowly come along when this is about to start to move. I want to tap on the text. Let's see, right there. Tap on the text and I'm tapping this little keyframe because that's going to lock in this position. So I'm tapping that. It puts a little diamond here and it locks in where the text is right now. And now I'm going to slowly move along until my hand has it out. 
this is the spot where I want it to be gone and I want it to travel slowly. So it's going to travel slowly from diamond number one. I can tap diamond number two or I can just move this off and it will create diamond number two. So now you'll see it's slowly exiting. I'm going to tap off the text so that you don't see that. You see that? Now it's slowly. Where you're slowly so you can see it slowly moving off the screen. Watch it bigger. But if you want to do a video where you're slowly pushing something. Alright, so off. you can see it traveling better when you do the keyframe and you slide it, especially if it's slow. So now I'll show you one where it's growing on the screen in the same way. So what I'm going to do is as my hand starts to open, I want it to be in there. So this one's really fun and tricky. I'm going to add the text, type my word in, check mark. Now what I'm going to do is make this really really small by taking two fingers first i have to tap on the text to make sure you're working with the text take two fingers and i'm going to make this really small oopsie tap on it it keeps doop. i'm going to make it really small in the palm of my hand <laughs> just keep tapping on it to make sure you're on the text so it's really small in there and then that's the beginning position so i'm going to tap on my text and set the keyframe for this tiny little position in there like that. So now I have my diamond set for my tiny little text and I want it to grow on the screen so that when my hand gets this wide, it's nice and big. So I can tap my second keyframe or by increasing this, it automatically makes a second keyframe. That's kind of the beauty of the app. It does it for you. Whoop. Let's get it nice and big and get it into position like that. And now you can keep it up there as long as you want. But you can see it's growing with my hand. And that's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna show you it bigger. Let's go from the beginning and press play. If you wanna do a video where you're slowly pushing something off the screen or slowly bringing something off See that, off you can screen, see it coming I'm on. Show you and you can do this with photos or stickers or logos or anything that you want to move around the screen. And obviously it's a lot easier if it's a quick movement because you can just set the duration. But if you want it to move slowly, that is how you use keyframes. And if this was helpful, I have free workshops, a free weekly newsletter and podcasts, and I teach new things and new strategies every single week. Okay, bye. <laughs>